Elon Musk has finally announced the recruitment of volunteers for brain chipping. The off-road boat mode tested by BYD. NASA's capsule brought asteroid samples from deep space to Earth, a next-generation wheeled security robot, and the unexpected fall of 200 Starlink satellites to Earth in the last two months. These and other news in one video. Let's start today's video with Neuralink, which is already prepared to perform a surgery to implant an electronic chip into a human brain. This is evidenced by the announcement of the recruitment of a test group of people on the company's official website. It describes the requirements for candidates and explains what the robot surgeon will do with them. Neuralink N1 is a chip the size of a coin that connects to the brain with 64 threads. Each of them should be inserted into the area of the brain responsible for motor intentions. As soon as the patient starts moving, the sensor will receive an electrical signal and then transmit it to some electronic device. The company has begun recruiting people willing to participate in the experiment. The main requirements for candidates are age over 22 and a diagnosis of either lateral amyotrophic sclerosis or quadriplegia, which is the loss of function in all four limbs after a spinal cord injury. It is expected that paralyzed patients will be able to control external devices, such as a mouse cursor or a keyboard, using their thoughts. The research is also aimed at assessing the safety of the chip itself and the surgical robot R1, which will be responsible for inserting the electrode threads into the corresponding brain areas. The experiment is expected to last approximately six years, and participants will need to be monitored by a team of experts both in the clinic and at home, including two daily hours of training. Additionally, Neuralink has stated that they will compensate patients for expenses related to the surgery and subsequent observation. According to the online service SatelliteMap.Space, since July, Elon Musk's company SpaceX has lost more than 200 satellites from its constellation located in low Earth orbit. This is the first case of such a large pandemic of satellites. However, the company has not commented on the situation in any way. Technically, the company's satellites are designed for five years of operation. Some of them fall short of this expected lifespan, but SpaceX has never experienced such large losses before. As of January 1, 2023, it was reported that 248 devices had burned up in the atmosphere. By July 15, the number had risen to 353, and at the time of writing this news, the count has reached 569. The exact reason for the rapid decline of many satellites over a relatively short period of time is unknown, considering that SpaceX reports on the status of its constellation to regulators every six months. Information about the loss of some of the devices will likely only become publicly available at the end of this year. A similar incident occurred with the company in February 2022 when it lost 40 devices due to a solar flare. Continuing the space theme, after completing a seven-year mission and traveling over six billion kilometers, the OSIRIS-REx capsule has returned to Earth with samples from the asteroid Bennu. With these samples, scientists hope to unravel new mysteries of the solar system and uncover aspects of the origin of life on our planet. The capsule landed within the confines of a testing range in the U.S. state of Utah and was transported to a research laboratory for the removal of terrestrial contaminants from its exterior. According to scientists, it may take days or even weeks before they can truly understand what is inside the container. The volume of material collected from the surface of the asteroid has not been determined yet. Researchers have previously identified hydrothermal mineral deposits on the asteroid through images captured by the spacecraft's camera. These deposits are believed to have formed early in the history of the solar system. Scientists intend to search for traces of organics, including amino acid and protein building blocks, in the samples. This will provide better insights into how life may have originated on Earth billions of years ago. Hundreds of specialists in 60 laboratories around the world will be involved in the analysis. The first to examine these cosmic rocks will be the staff at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. Returning to Earth and moving on to the company, BYD, let's see how they tested the amphibious mode of their SUV in real conditions. The premium class electric SUV Yangwang U8, unveiled earlier this year, has a range of interesting features, with one of the standout capabilities being its ability to navigate through deep bodies of water and even fully swim. The Yangwang U8 is equipped with four electric motors, with a combined power output of 1,184 horsepower. 
Additionally, it incorporates independent suspension adjustment technology on each wheel, allowing the vehicle, for instance, to execute a 360-degree turn in place. However, the most impressive feature is its capability to traverse bodies of water. The base model can dive into water up to a depth of one meter, while more advanced versions of the vehicle can submerge themselves to a depth of one meter and 40 centimeters. If the SUV ventures into waters deeper than these values, it will automatically switch to a special swimming mode. Using onboard sensors, the SUV raises its suspension, turns off the engine, switches the internal heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system to recirculation mode, closes the windows, and opens a hatch to provide passengers with the means for emergency evacuation. According to the automaker, in this mode the vehicle can remain afloat for up to 30 minutes and swim at a speed of 3 km per hour using its wheels as propellers. The premium version of the Yangwang U8 is set to go on sale in October at a price of around $149,000. Meanwhile, Joby Aviation has delivered an air vehicle to the U.S. Air Force. The chances of the Joby Aviation startup becoming the first fully certified provider of electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft in the United States are growing. It seems that entering into a contract with the military has proven to be a strategically sound move for the company. As recently announced with pride by the company's representatives, the startup has delivered the first batch of air vehicles ahead of schedule. Another significant boost to the startup's development has been substantial financing, particularly from Toyota, which has become Joby Aviation's main partner and assisted in setting up production. Over the past year, representatives from the Air Force have visited the test range in Joby facilities in California. Additionally, four pilots have completed a course in remotely controlling the aircraft. The civilian version of the aircraft is designed for four passengers and has a range of 240 kilometers. The electric air taxi received by the military will serve as an experimental model for supply missions within the airbase. Furthermore, NASA specialists plan to use it to study airspace. Swiss company Ascento has introduced the world to the Ascento Guard, a security robot with a distinctive design featuring wheeled legs and a friendly, almost anthropomorphic face. The robot is designed for patrolling large, open areas and is targeted at industries such as manufacturing, data centers, pharmaceutical companies, and warehouses. The unique wheeled leg formula of the Ascento Guard ensures precise movement across various surfaces. The robot is equipped with thermal and infrared cameras for surveillance. In the event of a security threat, such as an intrusion, it can notify security personnel through a special companion app. The robot has a movement speed of approximately 4.5 kilometers per hour, and two-way encrypted communication is facilitated through built-in speakers and a microphone. The Ascento Guard can be quickly deployed and becomes nearly autonomous with a programmable patrol schedule, capable of withstanding various weather conditions. Incredible discovery has been made by Japanese scientists who have learned to understand the clucking of chickens using artificial intelligence. Japanese researchers have developed an artificial intelligence system to decode the clucking of chickens and roosters. This development allows for the recognition of the bird's emotional states, as well as determining whether they are hungry, scared, or excited. The created system is based on a method that researchers call deep emotional analysis. The system can adapt to changing voice patterns and discern mood nuances by listening. Researchers tested the system on 80 birds with the assistance of a team of animal psychologists and veterinarians. Test results demonstrated that artificial intelligence effectively comprehends the chicken's mood based on their conversations. The clucking conveys emotions and states such as hunger, fear, anger, satisfaction, excitement, and distress. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the See you next time. Close doors, I'm a fool for your love.